Okay. Thing that should have worked. That's not it. Can hear is good. Good. Yeah, I think I figured it out. Maybe. Got it somewhere else entirely. I think even that's a little screwed up. Man, all my audio settings are just wacky. Well, that's that's that. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do. Oh, that's right. We have stairs over here. But you know what? At least we know that the captions are working, I guess. I've been talking this whole time. You couldn't even hear a thing I was saying. That's excellent. You know, I'm always afraid that that's going to happen, and it did. So, <sighs> so we just deal with it as it comes. So I know in that previous page previous illustration. I put so many twigs and things in here. And here is pretty sparse. We'll just follow the lines. One of those things I'm just going to have to stay on top of is making sure that all my audio works. Such is life. It's going to be a fun bot to put up, I'll tell you that. A whole hour into the stream and there's no audio for me. Mm. Ternathy, 
uh, will be you know kind of branching off and doing their own thing because they just said you know I've had enough of the violence had enough of you know defending you and protecting you and being used as a weapon so they all defect and not even defect it's just they all you know say you know we're gonna go find our own place somewhere else in the world that of course the ruling tribes take as the gravest of insults and thus begins the enmity between them and you know many generations since then and after that that's when they all turn into what we see them now as so So what I want to do, I want to go back over these pages here, just to make sure that the trees look different in like each page, in each drawing. So I'm trying to make sure they're consistent. So I'm just now noticing how different they all look from like drawing to drawing. Roughly what they should look like. Get that in there. It's not the brush, it was my technique. But uh, that story kind of begins where we're going to be going with uh, Acts 2 and 3. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward really to actually being able to tell the story this way that I want. Not that I wasn't before, but it wasn't as developed then when I first wrote this as it is now. You know, it's a great thing about coming back to a work that, you know, you've had for years and years and years and just kind of revisiting and saying hmm there's a lot more that I could do with this and being able to do with it so I'm that's another one of the reasons why I'm glad I decided to come back to this I knew it needed to be refreshed I knew it needed to be redone and redeveloped I'm glad I get to do that now shorthand these trees in here so that I don't have to spend quite so much time working on them. As a matter of fact, I'm going to actually switch the bigger brush to do this. That's exactly what I'm going to do.
Oh, excuse me. excited about getting this book done, man. I like, I'm just like really, really happy about that. I feel that if I had had all the time in the world, you know, I didn't have to go out and work, this book would have been done, would have been done in September. 100%, I believe that. So I'm happy now just be able to, to just do that. To just work on it. I am getting hungry. I think food is done. So I'm going to take a quick break. Um, this page is mostly done. So I'm going to do a couple of other things here. Get some towers back there in the background. get some food. Okay, this page is as good as done anyway, so. All right, everybody, I'm going to take a quick break. I will run an ad, naturally. Um, and then when I come back, hopefully I'll have some food and then we can continue on. I have two more pages to do, so yay, excitement. All right, be right back.
Okay. I have food. I'm gonna take another bite. Actually, almost done. So I'm super excited. Very happy to finally say that I'm almost done. Okay. Move on to colors. Hey, Shelby. Thank you for the resub. Welcome home. Appreciate you stopping in. How's everything? How's life? How's the kids? How's the family? Came in just at the right time. I have this page and one more after this, so basically two more pages. Shelby Nader 46, back for three months. Thank you. So I gotta figure out what's happened with this person's hair. Because so I think I wanted like some type of braided look, but you know what? We're gonna go with something different, I think. good how are you doing I am actually doing really really well today had a very good day at work and a very good day at home when I got home for work too so I'm excited to just finish up the uh, inking for this book we are starting with this person's hair Out of curiosity, is your camera fogged? I feel like, you know, I now that you mention it, no, there is something. I just realized there is kind of something weird going on with my camera. So let me do a thing real quick. I think there's like some sort of film. There we go. That's much better. I honestly had thought it was like maybe the angle or something, and now that you say that, I'm like, no, there is something weird going on with that. I'm going to be honest with you, I think my hair may have uh, hit the camera a few times, and so, you know, hair oils and everything got all over it, so it probably just needs to be wiped off. I think that's what did it. You know, Boyfriend just told me that uh, a lot of the uh, streamers he's been scrubbing through lately tonight have had some type of stream issue of one or another. Uh, for some, OBS, or have, OBS is having issues for one. Uh, he's trying to record, and it's not going to the going to his hard drive. His hard drive is not recognized, so it's kind of a thing tonight, I think. <laughs> We're all just kind of going through our own sorts of technical difficulties. But I am here, thankfully. I Mine actually was with my audio. Uh, my microphone wasn't being picked up by Streamlabs, so that's that's what that was. Thought maybe hot tea near it or something, but hair makes sense. Yeah, that's what it was. Gotta keep it fun and exciting on a Monday, right? Yes, apparently. Streamlabs and OBS are just kind of keeping it interesting. Monday night technical problems. Who'd have thunk? Um, which is funny because I don't think Mercury is moving into retrograde until the end of this week. So, you know, it's still got to get there. So we're going to be, you know, cruising into some fun things all week long, I think. Oh yeah, that hair is much better. Just follow the lines. 
So last team we do not have to reinvent anything. We will just follow the lines. Earlier I was just talking about the uh, story of the night is our victory, and not just like, oh, this is the sort of thing that happens, but, you know, kind of the background. Um, Shelby, just to catch you up. Um, so, after the father of the Ternathi makes his decision to break away from the ruling tribes of the Sylph, uh, which is on this particular night during this raid that he and his followers led on a settlement, which is what we're following. These are the pages that I've been adding to the book that, hey, there's more going on here. And this was actually the story that I wanted to, that I was trying to explore in the original Act 2 all those years ago when I first developed this story. where there was a, uh, in Act 2 came really their repentance for what they had done. Um, it was their opportunity to say, you know what, we, we did some awful things to those people. And, you know, they were being held accountable by the Grand Ancestor herself. And once they all made it through, that's when they became what they are. And that's what Act 2 will be doing. We'll be kind of exploring their, uh, spiritual, mystical, uh, cultural crisis and how they come out of that as, you know, who they are, as the Ternathi. And that's when Act 3 will come in, when we'll see them actually going to find their own homeland um, to basically re spiritually reboot their people. I like that. Act 2 sounds like a deep dive. And yeah, it's really meant to just be, you know, we need to explore, you know, it's literally the aftermath of this story and what comes from that, you know, the consequences of their actions, as it were. But again, we're looking at a uh, more kind of on the spiritual sense. Well, it's, you know, spiritual and, you know, physical, you know. They end up going to war with the ruling tribes. Or, you know, there's kind of like a cold war, really. It's just this conflict, this irreconcilable conflict between them. Um, we're we're going to see the beginnings of that. Oops, right through his hair.
something in the background just to help fill it up, even though there's not going to be a lot that we can see back there. And I'm excited. So Act 2 is going to be a very, very involved part of the story. Because it'll be over the course of like 12 issues. So um, there'll be a lot going on. It'll be, like each one will be pretty short. So, And I get, to get, I get to get started with that in November. So that's next month. This month is all about Act 1. And it'll be pretty short. So... Shall I have to show you what I have been doing for the past week. So you just saw this one as a thing. We're going to go back in time. Go backwards. So this is drawing number 14. I have one more to do. So you see that one. We have this one right before that. We have this one. A lot of grass in this one. I think a little, I think I overdid it a little bit. And then we have this. We're now getting into the parts of the story that were covered in the original. So this is a remake of the original pages. Really like how that looks. There's a lot of things happening. <laughs> whole scene. I love this scene. Was it this one? No. I think my favorite page is coming up. It's actually, I think, pretty early in the series. Was it this one? Isn't this one? Nope, not this one. Not that one. I'm sorry, I'm flying through these really fast. So you can really get to see it a little bit. And the funny thing is, like, you know, these pages always look different when they're published. So when they're finally in page paper format, they look pretty different. It wasn't this one. It's actually this one, I think, is my favorite. I just like the way I did my trees. That's all. This one. I mean, there's a lot of grass in this one too, but you know, it was early on and I didn't realize how much I was putting in, so. And of course, we're back to the cover. All right, one more page. It's so funny to me how I'm able to get through so many pages within, you know, my four hour or three hour streaming, uh, and then not really as many when I'm trying to do it, you know, without streaming it. I'm also eating dinner, so I love your trees. Thank you. I'm really impressed by them, too. They came out looking a whole lot better than I had originally thought they were going to. He says with a mouthful of food. do something different here. I know I normally say just kind of go with the lines that are already on the page, but because I did something different with uh, the other pages, I need to keep it consistent.
this is the last page. Stream holds you accountable, it seems. Makes sense to me that you get more done having that sort of influence. I think so, too. I think so, too. And, like, it's the time I can devote the most time and energy to the actual pages and actually getting them done, as opposed to if I'm off stream and trying to do stuff, I have so many competing interests. You know, I have homework that I have to do. I have, I'm watching another person stream. I don't want the people here in this one. I think I just want trees. I think I want a bigger brush. Plus there's the ritual of setting up for the stream and getting that mindset. I think you're absolutely right. I think you're absolutely right. I feel it. So you know what? If this is how I have to get my books done, then that's just how it's gonna be. <laughs> Which, of course, I set out to do exactly that, so. So let's get some trees going. Do some gestural lines in here. do for that tree right there put the trunk in down here should be following the general angle there we are the color just really makes the tree pop it's my brown my uh I think what, I'm, what am i using burnt umber so you know it's it's got a very nice warmth to it and i'm really feeling that uh, i want another tree back here Let's not jack up our trees now. right here just kind of piercing the moon's uh, halo Oops, let's get some texture in there there we go and the last tray which is over here on this side I'll go ahead and put this trunk in
Yeah, this is looking really good right now. Tilt the image and not my body because I cannot get over there like that. If I start to tilt myself too much, I'll be right out of the shot, so my camera won't even see me. Let's scribble down here. This tree is almost done, just needs a little texture. I mean, honestly, I can definitely say that I am done with the inking, which, woot! You know, that's super exciting to be at this phase, but now I'm just like, what do I do? <laughs> I don't want to start the coloring tonight. I mean, I did actually want to start the coloring tonight, but you know, I'm coming out of inking. I actually kind of wanted to take a break. You know, before actually jumping into that. And not just like immediately jump into coloring like, okay, here we go. Because it's just not going to go well. That's, that's too much force. Um, and I don't want to do that to myself. Take a breather before the next level sounds like a good plan. Time to get out of the inking headspace and into it. really is. And you know, like I can what I can definitely do is like go through my pages and just kind of see where uh just kind of see where you know anything that I wanna do, any detail that I wanna add. Like if there's anything else that I need to put in here before moving on to that stage, you know, now would be the perfect time to do it. I think I can get another tree back in here. We're going for it, so. Growing that all up down here. Now it's fixed. So that little tree down there, this looks good. This looks real good.
It's a good image. I'll tell you, the weakest one that I have. Well, it's kind of this. This is definitely kind of the weakest uh, image that I've got going on right now. And that's just because it's so... It's basically a pretty washed out scene. So there's not really a whole lot that's happening here. So I could put some texture in here. Just a some leafy texture, some tree-like texture in there, but... And I don't want to do too much because I want the, the moonlight to really dominate this scene here. back here I'm you know what I'm really excited about moving into the coloring process so I can you know show off and showcase how I actually do that how I'm going to go about doing that I mean you've seen me paint before but it's, it's different when it's like a, a, a finished project or a project that's in that stage. So this is still kind of like the, the weakest image of the entire set, but... It works considering the story. And here's the thing, not every image is gonna be, you know, super strong and you know able to carry the thing sometimes these scenes just need a little not happening so and it could be strong for its own suit so maybe it'll be you know kind of color wise maybe it'll look a little more interesting but you know just for now on its own not the greatest but it is what it is this one was the one I thought was kind of the weakest, but I think it's actually carrying its own weight now with the trees and everything in the background, all that detail. And it turns into this being the weakest one, which even then it still has that detail, which is necessary to happen. Super excited to see the coloring happen. So am I. So am I. What I need to do is put this book in order on my pages so that I can go about them properly. Or, I mean, I could do them from this, from the end to the front. Until it's all done. So the coloring will be, and I've been saying this for the while, but it's going to be super simple, blue and brown. Um, if we were to look at this book the original we're pretty much in those colors so it's we've got our blue we've got some brown we've got mostly brown we've got a little bit of a wash of green happening up here and then we've got these little pops of yellow uh, around the pages just kind of to brighten things up so there's going to be you know because the ground is covered in snow there's going to be areas where you know, like in here, there's going to be brown showing through. So what I'm going to do is most of the scene is going to be just like a blue, just a basic wash of blue. And then I'll go in 
with the uh, with my browns and things just to make sure that they're all in there. Just to, you know, add on the necessary detail and all that fun stuff. So wherever it should be white because of the uh, the snow, well, it'll be basic blue. So we'll have that in there. So for a scene like this, we'll be, you know, basic blue is a wash, and then we'll detail it in some brown, add some brown in for details and other things like that. And then we'll start to deepen those colors, deepen that brown in there a little more with addition of maybe some violet or something. And then we'll do little pops like right here. We'll have some yellow here. Um, and yeah, we'll I'll definitely play around with just the different coloring. So three simple colors, fun to watch it come to life. And you know, maybe I will just start from back here and just kind of work my way forward. Maybe I won't put this in order. And I think I want to use my gouache to get these colors in. I want to play around more with my gouache and just have that to be a thing. We are done with the ink so we can close this up. that up because so we're not going to be doing any more color stuff tonight. Um, hmm. Super excited. So, as I mentioned, there is going to be a type of paint that I don't remember how to spell this lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's a little complicated. Uh, as I mentioned, there is going to be a giveaway uh, in December planning that or I'll be giving away copies of the night is our victory so I'm I need a paint command so actually if you do exclamation mark medium I think is what I have so I'll let you play around with that that should be active yep there it is <laughs> I set that up a long time ago, so, oh, you're welcome. Um, I do want to add some more commands just to, you know, have some extra little fun things going on there. Uh, especially as I get through the Night is Our Victory, I do want to have a command for that one, too. Um, but, you know, I'm, there's going to be a giveaway in December. I'll be, once the book goes to print at the end of the month, um, turnaround time is about a month, and then I'll have copies of it at the beginning of December, at the end of November. For November, uh, once this book goes to print, then I'll be starting on Act 2, so I can get that rolling. Um, and we'll start to see that we'll probably go to print... Oh, man. I don't want to overdo it, but that'll probably go to print either in December or January, uh, the first issue of Act 2. I really actually want to have enough time in between Act 1 before we get to Act 2, so maybe I'll actually push that back a couple of months just to, you know, be able to get myself ahead in everything and not stress out too much. So maybe I'll just do this first and then maybe next year in 2021, uh, probably the springtime, we'll say, we'll get uh, Act 2 going to print, but I'll still be working on it. It just won't be going to print as soon as, you know, that. Um, I'm in love. So, Act 2 will be, will be using up this, and normally it would be, oops, I forgot that that was there. Um, a little drawing, and I done. Um, Normally, the uh, original Act 2 was on 9 by 12 paper, but it was, you know, kind of the same thing as I'm doing here, the two-page spreads. I think I want to get away from that and just do, like, something like this in this format. Um, so that means the books themselves will be small, you know, about 15 pages. But I think that'll work out better for me, and I'll be able to kind of get through it a little faster, a little cleaner, with a little less stress. 
of trying to, you know, put together 15 drawings for each individual. I mean, I'll still be doing 15 drawings for each individual book, but you know what I mean. Like, I, I think it'll be a little easier to do, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, and I'm still using the original as my guide, so I do still have the original art from the act from act two so i also need to update the website about all the stuff that i'm doing so there's there's a lot that's going on there's a lot that's going to be happening um i actually thought that getting through these last four pages was going to take a whole lot more time than it has it is now 9 30 i started a you know about very very close to eight and i'm done so Honestly, guys, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't even have a really good start to Act 2. Hold on a minute. Relax, maybe somehow. You know what? I just, that's just not my name. That is not in my nature. I just can't do it. Just can't do it. Uh, so, Act Two is called Knight's Name, and I have a book here that's just dedicated to just getting the covers. Um, so, I'll be, I'll probably spend some time working on some covers in between uh, coloring pages, or maybe I'll just spend the rest of the week literally just coloring. Um, so, there'll be that. And then I can actually. I don't want to start on this right now because if I start on this right now, I'm just going to want to finish it right now and it's just not going to happen. I'm going to be very upset with myself if I can't finish it. So, um, But I do want to just kind of play around with some ideas. You know, just kind of let you in on what it is that I'm planning to do. So I'll still be using gouache for, uh, for the books. And then there, after... After Knight's Name comes uh, the final book, Act 3, The Death of Winter. And then we'll, you know, we'll get to play around with that. Like I said, that'll be the act where, you know, the Ternathi, they find their new home and they get to establish it and defend it and all that good stuff. So, you know, they get to really just kind of grow into being themselves. There is a follow-up to that but that'll probably take me well into 2022 uh the death of winter i'm thinking um so we're thinking maybe about springtime 2022 we'll see act three this is a lot of planning that i put into this and then i don't know if i want to go into the rest of the historical pieces or if i want to go back into uh the modern the more contemporary story that I was working on a few months ago. So, which, like I said, is really, we're looking at the descendants of the Ternathi at that point. Um, so there, there's, there's a bit, there's a bit. So, I, I mean, honestly, guys, I'm sorry. I don't really have anything else. I just wanted to get through those pages tonight. So I think I'm just going to call it. I'm just killing time here right now. Uh, thank you, Shelby, for coming by and hanging out with me. Arfi, for letting me know about my audio. I really needed that. Shelby, thank you again for that, uh, for resubscribing. You know, you're always welcome here. And I'm so happy to have you here as I rearrange my uh, overlay by accident. So... I am going to call it here tonight. I am going to try and be available tomorrow. Aw, thank you, Shelby, for the bits. Yay, thank you so much. Um, I am going to try and be available tomorrow night. I should be able to make another little stream tomorrow, and we'll, you know, we'll have some fun doing something different. I think I wanted to do a tree study for Artist Technics, so that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow, provided I can get myself over here. I, I just want to say there has been so so much happening right now in the world and it's it's been super difficult for me to maintain my focus and my calm um 
and so you know when I come here to stream I really appreciate you know people just literally just hanging out um, it, it really means a lot to me but I need to really learn how to relax I do need to learn how to relax and take breaks I was just telling uh, my boy I'm gonna switch over here to chatting I was telling my boyfriend that you know I have um, oh my goodness you're like seeing all of my everything right now let's turn that off um, how you know I I come home like I wake up super early in the morning to go to work and then I come home and it's homework and then right after that if it's a particular like if it's my streaming night then I'm streaming and then I don't really get to take a, a real break a real significant break from talking and doing and being active and I think I really think I need that tomorrow so I'm going to see what my body says and if it is actually going to allow me to just relax um, and just kind of enjoy the day or if I feel I need to be doing something then I'll probably be doing homework and then I will jump into I'll probably just do like a couple of assignments very small and then I will jump into you know maybe some more relaxation or uh, maybe I'll do a stream um, but I, I know for a fact I absolutely need to just like chill out so that's just kind of where I am if you learn how to please teach me oh you know what i i wish i could teach the world sometimes i really do um so that is what we're going to be doing tonight let me see if who is on right now that we can raid <gasps> oh you know what did you guys want to let's see hmm i want it oh you know what i know exactly where we're going I have a Chelsea is on, I have Wizard of Time is on, and I have a Shmi is on. Who do I want us to go raid? I mean, all of them are really, really great people. Of course, Solid is on. <gasps> no, I know exactly where we're going. You guys, I have to, you have to, no. So we're going to go visit a friend of mine who is actually from uh, my free company. We're going to go hang out with Kitty Scorn. Um, so get ready. We're going to go hang out over there. I want you to... You know, go over there. We're gonna have some fun. He's playing fan to whatever that is. Phasmophobia. There we go. We're gonna go watch him play Phasmophobia. It's super fun. It's actually it's super cute. Well, not super cute. I'm thinking something different. It's it's a, it's a fun game. I've seen a few people play it. Uh, Kitty Scorn is super super awesome. He's in my uh, Final Fantasy 14 free company. So let's go hang out with him. For the night and I will see all of y'all later thank you so much for hanging out like I said thanks for the bits Shelby and the resub all that good stuff we're gonna go over there now so have a good night everybody see you soon